This is my latest generator. It's a compact generator using my new compound rotor. It is capable of <clears throat> 75 amps and the voltage is determined by how fast you spin it. It's very small. As you can see, it's only seven inches across, seven inches long, and eight inches across, and eight inches high. The thing produces so much power because of the compound rotor. The compound rotor is something that I developed because I wanted to be able to get big coils inside a small generator that would give me the power that I needed. But at the same time, would I be able to get the voltage that people want? The answer is yes. This thing will produce tremendous voltage, tremendous power, and again, you're looking at 75 amps output rated. Now we can, again, it's only got two wear components, these end bearings. If you grease them, they'll last forever. There's no other heat problems. The thing is open frame, so you can put it on wind turbines, uh, windmills, you can put it on water wheels, you can put it on virtually anything, and it will charge batteries, it will run inverters, it will do anything you want. I spent a long time developing this to get the power that I needed out of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it to let you see the voltage this thing will generate. See that? Just spinning with my hands. It does that kind of power. Imagine putting this on a wind turbine. You would have all this capability, all this compact size, on a wind turbine. Now with this three quarter inch shaft, this stout frame, you could put ten foot blades on this thing. You could put anything you wanted on it. Just like that, there's 40 volts. Easily. This is going to be a major new product for us, a major new product line. The compound rotor is the key to using these big coils.